to my channel so today i thought i'd do a colour and chat from 100 beautiful mandalas by camellia andrakova and i thought i would do this page here i picked out three random ori markers these are my old ori markers they no longer do these type of ones do you do more of this type of style this is when they first ever like produced them and the colors that i've randomly picked is 65 ice blue 22 french vermilion and 61 peacock green i've got like a box just under my table full of like all these and I just pick three of them out, test them if they're actually working or not, and then I just get on with the mandala. So the first colour I am using is 65 Ice Blue. So how is everybody today? I'm doing fine. I have been working on a body colour. But I didn't want to show you guys the body colour because I've nearly finished it. And I didn't want to spoil it on camera before the end of the month. I still have a couple of more to do. And this mandala will go towards trying to find the front one second guys. It'll go towards Happy Scavenger Hunt July 2023 and it is a picture of mandala. I've already done one this month, but I want to do one just for this prompt. The next colour I'm going to use is 61 Peacock Green. I just used the 22 French Vermilion. I'm hoping these markers stay juicy as they are really, really old. I think I got them in like 2018, 19. Yeah, they're quite so juicy. So. They're getting on a little bit and I do need to sort out my markers because I am going to move soon. I don't know when I'll be like completely moving but if my content gets a little bit like lacking and I don't upload as much it's because I'll be moving house and stuff like that. And I'm really excited for that. I'm also really sad as well because I'll be leaving literally my childhood home. I've been in this house since I was like four. So it's kind of like an end of an era. And if you guys didn't know, I am 27 now. So I've been here for a long time. This is the only house I can ever remember. But hopefully we will move. They're very similar colours. It's okay because I don't want the random guards chose for me. That's what I always say. Most of my mandalas in this book are random. Like, I don't really have a colour palette, but if I do do a colour palette, it's usually a colour palette that, like, I've found on a hashtag that's going around. Like, I know that Amanda Colours has um, a colour palette for, like, any picture, really. I know that Disney Meg's Colouring does a Disney Mandala colour palette challenge, so stuff like that. And if you're like me and you're very indecisive of, like what to like what colors to use 
literally just pick random colours. Yeah, sometimes they might be a bit too close together, but I'm just going with it to be honest, guys. Usually a mandala takes me about two hours to do. And Camellia and Cobra, this book in particular, the 100 Beautiful Mandalas, is a really great mandala book to start with. But if you're really indecisive on what type of mandala to use, go for Camellia and Cobra's 101 Mandalas. She has, um, like, a lot of different categories because you have the ones with the pictures in you have like square ones i think you have heart ones in that book triangle ones is um just a bunch of different ones to be honest guys and i think that's a really good starter book for people who are unsure of mandalas but if you just like the circle type ones this one's really good she has loads of them, to be honest, guys. She has absolutely loads of them. I don't have the miniatures yet, but I really do want to get, like, at least a few of them because they look absolutely adorable. If you do have this book and you would like to do a body colour with me, leave it in the comments. I was going to say leave it in the comments down below. I meant to say um dm me on instagram and i will do that with you i'm not doing a body color on that one because i'm going to be doing that after this one but this will be my next page to do so anything beyond this page is absolutely fine but if you do want to like tell me the actual number of the page in down below in the comments let me know and I'd love to do body colour with you because I absolutely love body colours. They make me like branch out of my comfort zone. And it doesn't have to be this book, it can be any book that you like. Just let me know and I'll um, be happily, happy, happy to do that with you. It doesn't have to be the same book, it can be the same theme, it can be the same colour palette. Like you can find like a colour palette on the internet and go, do you want to use these colours in the picture? More likely I'll do a mandala to be honest, but yeah, I'll do stuff like that. But if you do like a specific page with the colour combination and tell me, tell me would you like to do that, then I'll be like, oh that's more of a challenge. So that's the type of like things I like about book. But, about body colors sorry guys tongue system is literally there's so many different types because i literally thought you had to have the same book but my lovely friend kathy from spicy cat colors and a, a few of my other like amazing friends they all have like showed me you can have a body colour but it doesn't have to be the same book so literally like I said if you want to do body colours in anything or you know set a challenge for me or you know stuff like that leave it in the comments or DM me on Instagram if you want to make it even more private and I'd love to do that. If you didn't know and you'd like to join in, me and Jamie from Jamie Loves Colouring is doing a hashtag all through July. It was May till July and it was Cute Chibi Summer 2023. If you would like your picture to be at the end of like the slideshow like the end of the month slideshow type thing you have to tag me and jamie in the actual photo and not just the post it has to be in the actual photo so then me myself i am the only one that does the slideshows um because it is my 
hashtag which Jamie is co-hosting with me so I'd like to show you guys your pictures but um, Instagram is only doing the top liked and I want to show more than just like I think it's like 50 or something I know that there's a way more people who have like participated than 50 because it says on the actual like post how many people are posted with the hashtag but then I can only see about 50 and I'm like well you know what's this about so if you would like your picture at the end of the month just tag me and Jamie in your actual picture and I'll definitely do that little slideshow because it's like a thank you isn't it for like participating in my hashtag and me and Jamie love doing a hashtag every year and it'd be sad to just not give you a slideshow of your pictures you know what I mean because Instagram's just changed if there's any like hashtags you would like to like for me to do or any like prompts or anything anything like that just let me know i do try and keep this as like rough footage as possible because i i want you guys to feel like you're watching a live without watching a live you know what i mean i want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me who has shared my videos who's given me loads of love and support who's followed me on instagram and followed me on tiktok you guys are amazing i still can't believe that i've reached 610 subscribers even saying that sounds weird like i never thought not even like 10 people would like my content and the fact that over 600 of you actually do it really mind blows me so much and on my channel i don't do all like the fancy stuff i call it like the shade and the blend and all that i literally do what you're seeing now it's just ink on a paper or pencil or whatever medium i've got on the paper and that's how they like that's the type of like art i'm just straight corn like there's no as i call it fancy work and i know like some of you guys would like me to try and do like blending and shading and all that to be honest though guys i'm scared in case i absolutely mess up my picture and then I get really disheartened and then I'll never finish that picture and then I'll go forever whip and then I'll just then I'll have to try and figure out how to do the whip and then I was having a look at it of like how am I going to fix this mess that I've made and it'll just really annoy my head and that's why I just like doing straight colouring and I know like art's like trial and error and you know all that fun stuff but I, I'm trying to like, you know, make people who don't do all that fancy stuff like art as well, you know what I mean? And I don't use like expensive stuff, I just use budget friendly stuff and I try and like make you guys feel like if you want to do art, you literally can, like, and it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg, you know what I mean? That's what my channel's all about. It's just make people love art and just love being creative and you know just positive. I can't see the difference in these greens to be honest. Maybe you guys can, but I really can't. And it is two different greens as well. Like it's literally on the lid you can literally say it's two different greens, one's darker, one lighter, and it's so the same. But it's totally fine. 
I knew someone that would really like this mandala because the two favourite colours are um, green and orange. I just can't wait to show you guys all my completed pages at the end of the month because some of the pages I've actually done this month I'm really proud of. Um, I do want to thank everyone who has supported me and like absolutely just liked the videos and showed me support. You guys really make my heart swell so much. You really do. And if you are new and you're thinking, who, who is this? Just subscribe because it's a happy family here. We are all happy families. And there's no negative in the comments. I will not allow anything negative. So if you have any questions, even if you feel like it's absolutely stupid and you just want to ask the question, just ask it. And I'll try and answer it. All the people in the comments would answer for you. Who are a little bit more like advanced in that type of thing. But I won't get someone who is like criticizing like really negative on that one person and making them feel like absolute crap because that is not allowed on this channel at all because I, I don't like bullies or even online bullying. I absolutely hate it. So just keep that in mind, guys. You can give advice. You can give advice to the other people or like stuff like that, but don't try and make them feel like absolute crap for the question that they're asking. You know what I mean? That's all I ask on the channel. It's just stay positive and be nice to each other because that's all that's all the world is now, isn't it? Just be nice. Be kind. Because being kind to that one person might make their day. Saying hello to one person might change the mood. Because I remember when I used to go to college and there used to be this little old man on the bus with me. And I, I didn't like going to college, guys. I'm not going to lie. It was one of them. Oh, God, I did it. Oh, oh, that type of mood. But every time when this, this um, man used to talk to me, it used to just make me mood ten times better. Like, he was a lovely man, by the way. He was a lovely little old man. But, yeah, it, it's just, it just changed my mood because he was just so happy and positive to me. And ever since that day, I was like, I'm going to be nice and positive to people. Because I used to be really like, oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, oh, got to do everything now. Oh. But now I'm more like being happy, positive, you know, ray of sunshine. And that's what I want this channel to be, is just be happy. Some days I'm a bit, you know, sad. But then you guys that comment and like my videos, subscribe, share and all that. It just boosts my confidence, confidence up a little bit and makes me more happy and it makes me like snap out of that mood, you know what I mean? Makes it just ten times better. And I hope that I'm doing the same for someone out there as well. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below. Mm. I think what's a comment down below? Let's say the word kind. What's the word kind? Or oh, the words be kind. That's it. Because you guys mean everything to me. You really do. And I'm not just saying that, I'm actually meaning that from my heart. That's why I say this 
channel as like a family. And if you want to be part of it, just hit the subscribe button, share with friends, you know, all that fun stuff. Turn on notifications, all that stuff. Because it'll make the family grow. I want the whole world to be a part of our family. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of um, body colours that I need to do. I only need to do a couple more and then I've done them. And then I can do like this type of one and all that stuff because I've got still quite a lot of prompts to do. And if the video of your completed pages is not at the end of the month, it will be in the beginning of the next month, definitely. It's usually after when I've uploaded my what I've completed at the end of the month type video. So you do have until like legit the end of the month to get your entries in and all that fun stuff. So what's everyone been doing this weekend? I've been literally, as I said, like colouring in. I completed my diamond painting the other week, didn't I? Um, I've still got another two to do for that friend. Um, and I will show the diamond painting at the end of the month, like on a little like pop up, you know. Yeah, that fancy stuff. I have been learning how to do that, by the way, guys. Because then I used to um, show my buddies what I wanted to, but I didn't know how to, and then I learnt it myself. I was like, oh, what's this button do? Oh, that's how it does it. <laughs> and then that's how I learnt how to do it. No one taught me, not like that, self-taught myself. It's the littlest things, but it works. And if you guys didn't know, I do have ADHD and autism, so it does take me a little bit of a longer time than a normal person to do stuff. And I used to always be embarrassed to say that I was autis autistic, but um, when I was like a few years ago, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to embrace who I am. And stop like this like fake figure you know like stop being what everyone else wants me to be just be myself and literally i've never been happier mentally like if people don't like who i am type thing as like an actual person in person type thing then it's their problem not mine that's what i think you know what i mean and that's how you guys should think. If someone's really negative on your head and your surrounding and making you feel like absolute crap about yourself, just literally drop them. That's how I did with all all my fake friends. I literally dropped them all because they didn't like me for who I was. So I dropped pretty much every single fake friend. And you guys can do the exact same thing. I remember that my DMs are always open, so if you want like a chat about anything or everything like that, body colours, even if you wanted to do a hashtag with me, like if you wanted me to co-host you with a hashtag, totally do that for you. Anything like that, because you guys are literally my world. You are. If I could hug every single one of you, I would. Like, I would absolutely give you billions of hugs, would. But my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> I think I'm 
I'm just gonna do this last ring around here and then I'm gonna call it a video I think. I'm still a bit disappointed that the green's the same colour pretty much. If anyone else can see the difference, let me know because I can't even see the difference. And like I showed you guys, it is two different greens. I don't know. I'm so surprised these pens work after so long. <laughs> I've had them for as long as I've had the channel. Like, I've had this channel for like three years. I will forever show love and support for you guys because remember and like be kind, be nice because it can make someone stay. It really, really could. And plus you make loads of new friends. Like I've made loads of YouTube friends while being on YouTube. I have met so many wonderful, amazing people. And I wouldn't know if it wasn't for YouTube. And again, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me. Because you guys are absolutely amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hold on guys, I'm just trying to put that lid back on. There we go. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook group page and also give my TikTok a little bit of love. Love you guys so, so much. Remember to stay safe, be kind and respect others. Love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.